Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I would like to speak to you about an article that's circulating around social media and on the internet. Here's one example on the screen right here. It says, if you lift weights, stop, because if you do lift weights, it's going to reduce your lifespan. Then you have David Asprey, the biohacker that claims he's going to live to 180 years. He made a statement that if you should work out no more than 30 to 60 minutes of weight training, resistance training, that if you work out 130 minutes or more, that it's really dangerous for you and, they, and that it's counterproductive and they it will reduce your lifespan. And he cited a study. Here's the study right here. It's a systematic review. This was the authors of the study are the same ones that years ago they claimed that tennis, if you play tennis or badminton, you will live the longest. First and foremost, these studies are absurd. How are you going to tell, how are you going to say that everyone, this applies to everyone? Okay, somebody that's very fit, 130 minutes a week, a week of resistance training is a joke. It won't even affect his body. His her body. If they if they are elite, if they work out, if they are super fit, it's gonna diminish their health, not harm them. Okay? You shouldn't apply, this should not apply to everyone. I don't know who they're talking about. 130 minutes a week of resistance training. If I lift weights for 130 minutes, I don't, then why am I still alive? I do 130 minutes in a day. Per day. Seriously, I do at least an hour of resistance training per day. I just I don't know, I, I know how to rotate my routines where I don't overtrain. See, this is the part that they're not telling you. They don't know how to work out for longevity. They don't. Okay, I want to speak about Mr. David Asprey, the biohacker. He claims that he's going to lift to 180. I mean, imagine this now. He also claims on, on social media or on TV, wherever he said it, that he has 7% body fat. Not even close. He doesn't even have anywhere near 7% body fat. But he's making these bold claims. Then he's making this bold claim that he's going to live to 180. How, Mr. David Asprey, how in the world are you going to live to 180 if you work out? What do you do? You work out 60 minutes a week? The resistance training, how is that supposed to keep your body youthful? How? When you reach 100, I said it in my previous video, when you reach 100, to live to 180, when you reach 100, you got to have the body, the body, the blood flow, the bone structure of a 20-year-old. Mr. David Asprey, your training regimen is not going to make you lift to 180. Unless a magic pill, they create a magic pill, then it may happen. But for your training regimen of 30, 30 minutes or uh, an hour a week of weight training, you're going to age like your average Joe, talk to me when you're 90 years old. Forget about 180. Half of that. When you're 90, I would love to see you. If you reach 90, I would love to see what you look like. Because right now, at your age, you don't have anywhere near a youthful body. So how do you expect to live to 180? How, how, you need a young body. It's not just not having gray hair. You need a youthful body. You need a powerful body. But anyway, I want to get back to the study. Okay, The study claims that you should work out 30 to 60 minutes. It's a systematic review, by the way, of I think, I don't know if it's 25 studies, but it's a whole bunch of studies. I'm not sure the number, but it's a lot of studies. Uh, and they reviewed all of them, and they concluded that if you work out over 130 minutes, oh my God, if you resistance train for more than 30 minutes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt your lifespan. You're going to die sooner. Okay. Again, I'm... Teach their own. You do what you want to do, okay? Uh, I'm not going to do that. And I am about to uh, post a video on, on my exercise regimen and why I do what I do. Okay? They are riding a certain way. I don't know if they're talking about extremely heavy training. I don't know. What do they mean by resistance training? Pull-ups. You could do pull-ups every day, push-ups every day. It's not going to hurt you. What kind of resistance training are they talking about? Uh, weightlifting or powerlifting? What are they talking about? Even then, it depends on the person. It depends on the person. It depends on his genetics. And the, this does not apply to everyone. Okay, and the weightlifting does not harm you. So I don't know if anybody else is 
uh, reading these uh, articles and, and believing this, Mr. David Asprey, you're misleading the public. Really, you're misleading the public. You're biohacking nonsense. Work out an hour a week. Are you kidding me? You ain't going anywhere near one eight with that biohacking routine you have. Okay? I mean, no disrespect to anyone, but please with this. Please with this. Weightlifting is going to reduce my lifespan. I'm still alive and I'm healthy as hell. Anyway, <laughs> have a great day and stay tuned because I have an incredible video on exercise and longevity coming tomorrow or the next day. Have a great day, everyone.